Hey, everybody. In 1973, my mother gifted me a subscription to the Reader's Digest magazine. I really, really like the Reader's Digest. Every time it arrived, I read it cover to cover. I've had a subscription to it every year since then, and I still devour every article. Sometimes three or four months late, but I always read it all. This morning, I read a Digest article about the importance of reading out loud to each other. Children, teenagers, adults, older folks, everybody benefits from reading aloud or being read to. We don't do that so much anymore. You've probably read in the Old Testament a story or two where a king or another leader called all the Israelites together to listen to God's word. Maybe it was, oh, the law or the prophets or the Psalms or the wisdom books, whatever it was, all the Israelites stood up for hours and listened to the word. We have moved away from that a bit. My heart says it might be time to return. There's a connection there that we're missing. So today, I'm going to read aloud to you and my neighbors out here, a psalm that paints a wonderful picture of who God is and how he loves us. Out loud, no bells or whistles, just God's word. So get comfortable, use this time to listen for God's voice. Psalm 103, from the Living, New Living Translation. This is a psalm of David. Let all that I am praise the Lord. With my whole heart, I will praise his holy name. Let all that I am praise the Lord. May I never forget the good things he does for me. He forgives all my sins and heals all my diseases. He redeems me from death and crowns me with love and tender mercies. He fills my life with good things. My youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord gives righteousness and justice to all who are treated unfairly. He revealed his character to Moses and his deeds to the people of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, slow to get angry, and filled with unfailing love. He will not constantly accuse us, nor remain angry forever. He does not punish us for all our sins. He does not deal harshly with us as we deserve. For his unfailing love toward those who fear him is as great as the height of the heavens above the earth. He has removed our sins as far from us as the east is from the west. The Lord is like a father to his children, tender and compassionate to those who fear him. For he knows how weak we are. He remembers we are only dust. Our days on earth are like grass. Like wildflowers, we bloom and die. The wind blows and we are gone, as though we had never been here. But the love of the Lord remains forever with those who fear him. His salvation extends to the children's children of those who are faithful to his covenant, of those who obey his commandments. The Lord has made the heavens his throne. From there, he rules over everything. Praise the Lord, you angels, you mighty ones who carry out his plans. 
listening for each of his commands. Yes, praise the Lord, you armies of angels who serve him and do his will. Praise the Lord, everything he has created, everything in all his kingdom. Let all that I am praise the Lord. This is the word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Amen. Oh,